Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Can't wait to dive into episode 3127. There's going to be six science-based studies. We're only going to spend one minute on each of these studies. I'm going to give you the exact dosages were used, and I'm going to give you the exact results that people got. This is something that you can replicate in your own life, literally, within anywhere between a four and 12-week maximum time period. I can't wait to share this research with you. Easy to understand, easy to implement if you're looking to boost your metabolism, burn more calories, and lose more body fat, these six studies are going to show you exactly what to do, and I'm going to break it all down for you. Let's dive in. All right, so we're going to share the nutritional supplement that was used, and I'm also going to share the food basis that you can get as well. Now, this was used with nutritional supplements, but I believe because based on our scientific research as well, inside of our practice in Equal Life, we're able to share with you that if you have fish five times a week, and you're eating um, either sardines, mackerel, anchovies, wild salmon, or wild trout, and it's about a six ounce serving or so, you're going to be able to replicate these results if you want to do it fish wise. Now, if you want the results from these studies, you're going to listen in on the dosages. They're not mega dosages. That's why, again, I love real science. I love true science. And I also want to be able to share with people how they can get better results with body transformation if that's a goal of theirs. Because for many people, it is. I mean, honestly, two thirds of the world want some type of body transformation. It's not a bad thing. Let's dive into it right now. Okay. First study, I'm going to give you the exact studies. I'm going to link them up for you. So they're going to be at stephencabral.com slash 3127. So here it is. A study was out of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. It was called Fish Oil Supplementation Increases Metabolic Rate. And uh, let's dive right into it. Okay. How much fish oil was used? 1.8 grams. Okay. So 1.8 grams. And then here are the results. Participants experienced an increase in resting metabolic rate of approximately 5 to 10% over the 12-week period. This translates, this is from the, from the abstract, from the excerpt, this translates to about 100 to 200 calories extra burn per day. So think about that. You know, what would that equate to in terms of food? Well, it would equate to 20 to 50 grams more of carbs per day. Literally, you could eat 25 to 50 more grams of carbs per day, just based on that. Okay, so that's the first study. Summary, 1.8 grams of fish oil. Okay, and this is fish, by the way, it's not um, marine, it's not algae, it's not flax, it is not um, other forms. All right, so I'm just sharing that with you. Next study, I think you'll like this one more. This was done a couple years later. It was called omega-3 fatty acid supplementation for 12 weeks. And it was published in the, let's see here, PLOS1. And let's just give you the stats. The results demonstrated that three grams per day of fish oil supplementation significantly increased resting metabolic rate by 14%, energy expenditure during exercise by 10%, and the rate of fat oxidation during rest by 19%, and during exercise by 27%. In addition, fish oil consumption lowered triglyceride levels by 29%. That's absolutely amazing. So when we look at that, they used about one gram more per day, still only three grams. We're not talking about a mega dose here. And what did it do? It boosted the resting metabolic rate by 14%. That means if you typically burn, let's just say 1,500 calories a day, let's just use 2,000. You burn 2,000 calories per day. Okay. That is about how much? 200 calories would be another 10%, 100 would be 5%, about an extra 300 calories per day, three grams per day. So a little higher dosage, not a mega dose of omega-3s. And not only that, but for those that exercised, it boosted fat oxidation during exercise by 27%. It's a huge boost during your workouts to burn more body fat. So absolutely amazing. I'll link up that study as well. Okay. Let's see, next study, Journal of Nutrition called Omega-3 Fatty Acid Oxidation and Exercise, three grams they used per day, a significant increase in fat oxidation, typically between 20 and 25% during exercise. So that means that if you want to burn more body fat during your workouts, you don't need to take fish oil before your workout, anytime during the day, 
to get your levels up to three grams per day. Next study, impact on appetite and satiety. This study was actually done in the Journal of Appetites. Omega-3 fatty acids and appetite control. 2.4 grams on average was used. Participants reported a 20% reduction in hunger and an average reduction in caloric intake of about 200 to 300 calories per day. This was attributed to satiety after meals. So, pretty remarkable that these individuals taking omega-3s can burn an extra couple, a couple hundred extra calories per day, but now they wanted to eat about 200 to 300 calories less per day. If you're starting to think that this sounds a little bit like GLP-1s, or the results that a lot of Ozempic is getting people, but from a much more natural standpoint, you wouldn't be wrong. Reducing hunger, right? But also improving fat loss. I'm gonna tell you exactly how this is working right after I give you these last two studies. All right, second and last study. This was done in obesity research. Omega-3 fatty acids, weight loss with obese uh, population, 1.5 grams was used every single day combined with a calorie-restricted diet. Over 16 weeks, so this was the longest study, four months, participants in the omega-3 group lost an average of 3.3 pounds more than those in the control group who did not receive the omega-3 supplementation. Additionally, body fat percentage decreased by approximately 2% more in the omega-3 group. This is important. Both groups reduced calories by the same amount. One group received omega-3 fish oil. The other group did not. They received 1.5 grams. Now, they lost 3.3 pounds more just taking the omega-3s, two capsules basically a day, okay? But what the study alludes to, but doesn't share in terms of weight loss, is their body fat decreased by approximately 2%. Well, this matters. Let's think about this. Let's say that you weigh 200 pounds, okay? Let's say that you decrease your body fat by 2%. Okay, when we look at that, that's four pounds. So I, again, I'm just using baseline general terms. I understand 1% of 200, we're looking at two pounds, right? And so if we take two of those, I know you'd be down two pounds and it would be 198 and it'd be uh, 1.98, but let's just use two for easy math, right? So now when we look at that, that's four pounds. So you can make the argument that an individual lost somewhere between three and seven, seven and a half pounds, right? That's about a half a pound more per week doing nothing except taking the omega-3 fish oils over the 16 weeks. Okay, next one. Omega-3s and insulin sensitivity. This is starting to allude to how omega-3s are working. This is only one of the four ways, but I'm gonna go at it right now. Omega-3 uh, fatty acids, sorry, this was published in Diabetes Care. All right, two grams of omega-3 fish oil was used. Participants showed a 15 to 30% improvement in insulin sensitivity after eight weeks of supplementation. This improvement is associated with a reduced risk of storing fat and potentially more effective at fat loss over time. Meaning that the what's called authors of the study concluded that these individuals, given a long enough period beyond just eight weeks, would have lost more body fats and may have even improved insulin sensitivity to an even greater degree. <clears throat> but let's look at this. They increased insulin sensitivity, insulin sensitivity by up to a third without using literally any other diet interventions or any pharmaceuticals. Just by taking two grams Two, two soft gels, essentially, of omega-3 fish oil. So these studies are really important because there are many people out there that are, they're not sharing the whole truth about weight loss. So weight loss matters in terms of your nutrition, your exercise, all those things matter. Your sleep matters. We've talked about hormones, all of these things. But one of the ways that I wanted to share with you here today, why these studies are so impactful with literally putting two soft gels of fish oil in your body on a daily basis was that it improves the mechanism by how we lose weight.
by how we boost our metabolism, or maybe even conversely, as to why people aren't getting the results that they deserve. So I just wanna go over that right now with you, just share with you a couple points so that you understand. The first one is this, is that <clears throat> there are enzymes used with fat oxidation, and omega-3s actually help utilize body fat as an energy store rather than not being able to just simply have to convert more glucose into body fat and then use that as a storage uh, storehouse. So we have a metabolic boost from people's being people being able to more effectively burn body fat. That is shown at resting metabolic rate and was also shown by an insane number of like 27 to 29% when exercising. So a more fat burning during exercise as well. The second one is that omega-3s help with appetite suppression, meaning that individuals may not want to consume as many calories and thus make it easier to lose weight when consuming somewhere around two grams or so per day. The next one, and I believe this is one of the biggest ones, is inflammation because so many hormones are affected by inflammation as well, right? And so when we look at also disease-based states, we know that inflammation is a big part of that. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that omega-3s are an anti-inflammatory. There's like, there's no two ways around that. So much so that the pharmaceutical world created their own omega-3 because they know it works so well. All right, the last one is this. Omega-3s improve insulin sensitivity. So again, I can't provide you with any medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical, medical diagnosis, but omega-3s, anti-inflammatory, help improve insulin sensitivity. If you're better able to get glucose out of the bloodstream and where it belongs in the cell, stored in the liver, wherever it might be, you're going to more effectively switch from just having high levels of blood sugar to normal levels of blood sugar and be able to then tap into more fat oxidation or burning body fats. So using these four methodologies highlighted over these six studies, you're able to get better body transformation results without having to necessarily diet more or even exercise more. Although I'm an advocate of good, healthy nutrition, I'm an advocate of exercise, there are things that we can use to make life a little easier. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. And these studies show somewhere between about 1.8 or so, one, one and a half of the smallest amount to about three grams. For most people, we recommend just two grams per day. That's what we use. There's nothing wrong with doing three grams. It's certainly not a high dose. If you're someone that weighs more than 200 pounds, you may want to go to three grams uh, per day. We use two grams in our practice, but I would not have an issue with people using three grams as well. We use a product that's very well studied, it's a two to one ratio of EPA to DHA, which is going to clinically get people better results because it boosts levels of EPA and DHA better. I can't link to it on the show. It's called the it's called Daily Omega-3 Support by Equalife. So it's just literally nothing fancy. Daily Omega-3 Support by Equalife. It's going to get you these same results guaranteed. Now, if you want to use another functional medicine brand, I have no problem with that. And again, I'm here to bring you the research. You do what you feel is best for you. What you want to look for, though, is just looking for a triglyceride-bound omega-3. You want to go for a two-to-one ratio or greater of EPA to DHA because it's something that we found back around 2011, 2012 is that EPA readily converts to DHA, but not otherwise. And if you want to run your omega-3 levels, we can link to that. So if you actually want to test how much omega-3 you need for you, go to stephencabral.com slash 3127. I'll link up the research links here, but I'll also link up the omega-3 inflammation test as well. I'd love to have you check out your own levels. And for a limited time, we actually have a free lab. It's for first-time lab customers only because we want to introduce people to functional medicine lab testing. You can go to stephencabral.com slash inflammation. stephencabral.com slash inflammation will take you over there and you'll be able to um, see if there's one of those 100 labs as well to test your own omega-3, uh, omega-6 to omega-3 levels. And so again, good quality fish oil. Don't buy it at Costco. Don't buy it at CVS or Rite Aid. Get a non-oxidized brand. Get a brand that also tests for heavy metals. You don't want mercury in there. You don't want heavy metals. You want a triglyceride bound, just like you would absorb it from natural fish. So I am someone that eats fish about three times a week. I still take two grams a day of omega-3 fish oil. It keeps me at that three to one ratio of omega-6s to omega-3s and in a nice anti-inflammatory zone. 
Hopefully this was helpful. Again, I love being able to bring you the science behind how this works and also just making your life and your body transformation results that much easier. Let me know if there's any questions. If this was helpful, do feel free to share it with anyone you believe it could serve. And once again, that URL is stephencabral.com slash 3127. Take care, buddy. Have an amazing day. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.